if you guys haven't as of yet joined the etc talk reddit community here over 500 members on track to a thousand members great community there especially if you want to receive some up-to-date etc news or crypto news and I love to read as well and the savage life discord if you guys haven't yet join it as we are on track to a thousand members as well so let's hop right into it how's it going savage life family i'm seeing lots of fear lots of concern lots of doubts on your investment because we're here at the 68 dollar price point level and even though Bitcoin is green and rocketing, nearly hitting those $50,000 price points, it seems Ethereum Classic is seriously lagging behind. So I'm going to explain to you why it currently is not a concern, what could end up happening, and what is our key support and resistance levels that we have to watch out for. So let's hop straight into it. At this $68 price point level, it seems we still have room to drop down as the bears are trying their absolute hardest. Now, I'm going to go ahead and explain to you why the bears are trying so hard to bring down Ethereum Classic besides making a profit, of course. But let's take a look at Bitcoin. Now, Bitcoin is at 49490 It hit that $49,800 mark at one point in time before it dropped it back down again it's so close to fifty thousand dollars and if bitcoin is able to achieve fifty thousand dollars maintain and surpass it then ethereum classic ultimately there's no doubt in my mind that 80 plus is a high possibility for ethereum classic in the near future now this isn't the first time ethereum classic lags behind and i'm gonna go ahead and show you some chart trends that i've taken notice of but first things first let's take a look at the fear and greed index it's been quite a while since i've seen fear and greed here at 78 we are at extreme greed and this is just showing you that confidence is across the board more and more people are getting bullish now that bitcoin is nearing those all-time highs of sixty-two thousand dollars. it seems a far reach but if you are a crypto investor and have been in this market for the past couple of months or years, you know, it's definitely not a far reach at all. Look how far we have come from the low $30,000 price point levels. And here we are at near $50,000 in just two months. Same with Ethereum Classic. It was in the 20s, it was in the 30s for some time. Here we are at 68 and a couple investors or a couple of you guys are getting nervous now that it's lagging. Do you truly believe Ethereum Classic is going to crash and hit those 20, 10, $5 price point levels? Absolutely not. Be faithful in your investment and just know, know that these indicators are pointing north for the long term. So what I don't like here on the coin market capitalization is that we're dropping in rank. We are currently ranked 21. It's not a problem at all. It's just a lot of these coins are gaining major traction like Stellar, Rat Bitcoin, ICP, which I don't believe is such a great investment since they're not really decentralized. But there they are at $65, $10 billion in market cap, and people are truly trying to push it back past those $400 price points. We also have Polygon taking off, but Ethereum Classic here with $3 billion in volume, you're not gonna see much bullish movement as of yet. Now, if we take a look at trends of what's happened in the past, this is not the first time we've lagged behind. Now, taking a look at the technical chart here, if you can see on August 14th to August 15th here, we saw a massive rise. $61 to $76 high $77 that we saw of Ethereum Classic before rejecting and cooling off again now this is important because if you look at Bitcoin Bitcoin had that massive spike from August 12th to August 13th and in that range Ethereum Classic on August 12th to August 13th was not really making much movement it moved from 58 to 60 dollars where Bitcoin was moving thousands of dollars from 
$44,000 price range all the way to $47,000. So as you can see, a couple days past, just two days shortly after, we had that explosion from August 14th to August 15th, where we jumped up over $16 in just two days. And on August 14th to August 15th, you can see Bitcoin was cooling off. So what does that show you? That if history repeats itself, Ethereum Classic is simply lagging behind and one of these days is going to reach and get those major spikes. Is it going to be tomorrow? Maybe. Is it going to be next week? Possibly. But just know undoubtedly if Bitcoin surpasses $50,000 price point, Ethereum Classic will soon follow as it follows Bitcoin's trends over time. Now we're getting lots of selling pressure and that is due to short interest totaling 128,000 shares grew 17.9% from the July 15th total of 109,300 shares. What does this mean? Bears are doubling down on Grayscale and they're trying extremely hard to hold down Ethereum Classic. They have a lot more to lose currently than the longs, so that's why we're seeing massive selling pressure. And what doesn't help the fact is the individuals who aren't informed of what's going on regarding shorts, short interest, and what the bears are trying to do are just panic selling at the fact that Ethereum Classic is not following Bitcoin hour by hour, day by day. Just know there's much more happening behind the scenes that is driving these prices down. And that is a huge factor there. The bears are just trying to win the battle. But at the end of it all, us bulls are going to win the war because undoubtedly Ethereum Classic is set to break those $100, $200 price points by year's end. So it's only a matter of time. I also took note that Bitcoin had some liquidations today on the 21st. A lot more shorts liquidated than longs, 23 million in shorts liquidated, which caused a nice little push upwards. Now, if you take a look at Ethereum Classics liquidations, you can see here that we are getting much more longs liquidated than shorts. We had 1.4 million in longs liquidated yesterday, and today we have 50,000 longs liquidated compared to 28,000 shorts. This is going to update again at the end of the day, so we'll see the overall number. But typically on weekends, you wouldn't see as much activity as you would see on the overall week, since coins tend to be a lot more volatile on weekdays. So let's take a look at this one news article that I wanted to show you guys, which I thought it was quite interesting. And it is a U.S. mayor wants to give every resident $1,000 in Bitcoin. Who is this mayor? Because we need him here in Florida. I'm about to move to whatever state this mayor is residing in. So let's take a look at this article. Now, it is the mayor of Missouri by the name of Jason Stewart, who wants to give $1,000 in Bitcoin. But there's a catch. Now the catch is, the idea is that he doesn't want you to touch it for five years before you really get full access to it. Is that a problem? Absolutely not, it's free money. Now his only concern is that someone just sells their Bitcoin as soon as they get it to pay off a bill like a car note or a light bill. But when Bitcoin is sitting at $500,000 all these years later, they are going to end up regretting that. There's currently only 1,200 inhabitants of where he's currently residing, so it wouldn't be much out of pocket as the mayor, but this is absolutely fantastic, and this could open plenty of eyes for people to realize what Bitcoin truly is and how this decentralized blockchain could be the future. There you have it for a quick little update. If you guys enjoyed this video, smash that like as it massively helps with the YouTube algorithm and subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one. See ya.